across the southern tip of South America. They're uh, about to enter an orbital sunset, and uh, soon they'll uh, be moving northeasterly direction up across the Atlantic, across the equator, and then across the uh, western uh, portion of Africa, the west central portion of Africa, up across the Mediterranean, and then out across the Eurasian heartland. All continues to go smoothly on board both spacecraft. Uh, fitting out continues the uh, Japanese logistics pressurized module, uh, newly attached uh, to the Harmony node of the International Space Station, in temporary position awaiting the arrival of the uh, largest element of the Japanese laboratory, uh, the laboratory named uh, Kibo or Hope. That uh, coming up on the uh, subsequent shuttle mission, STS-144, aboard Discovery. Once Kibo is attached to the uh, left common birth birthing mechanism of Harmony, the JLP will be attached uh, to the top of the newly arrived uh, large laboratory module. There it will serve as a kind of uh, an attic and storage space. Major activity today, though, is the uh, spacewalk, the mission's second, second of five. And this spacewalk focuses almost exclusively on Dexter, the uh, Canadian Space Agency's special purpose dexterous manipulator. Dexter uh, spent uh, relatively warm nights, 45 minute nights, uh, as the uh, space station and shuttle Endeavour orbit the Earth. After power was uh, attached uh, using a power and data grapple fixture on Dexter grasped by the Canada Arm II, the International Space Station robotic arm, attempts to route power to Dexter, keep alive power to Dexter through the Space Lab pallet on which uh, the robotic device was brought into orbit, and then uh, that device subsequently attached to the P1 truss, uh, uh, truss element just about in the middle of the main truss of the International Space Station. Those attempts were uh, unsuccessful, and uh, there were uh, some concerns about uh, that lack of keep alive power to Dexter. Dexter uh, capable of spending, oh, about uh, five uh, unpowered days in space without suffering uh, grievous damage. That uh, became a non-issue when power was applied through the Canada Arm too, and uh, Dexter uh, again uh, is back to normal. Uh, hands were installed on the end of those arms. They're, of course, not actually uh, devices like human hands. They're essentially grapple fixtures. But they do have the capability of sensing pressure and transmitting those and that, uh, that data to the operator of uh, Dexter. Dexter can be used at the end of the Canada Arm II or uh, at uh, a number of power and data grapple fixtures uh, around the International Space Station. Among the tasks Dexter can perform is uh, replacement of uh, devices, various units, batteries perhaps, uh, on the exterior of the International Space Station. Those uh, arms and uh, the attached uh, hands or grapple fixtures uh, have uh, capability of maneuvering in uh, very uh, tight tolerances. Today's activities will see installation of Dexter's two arms by uh, spacewalkers Rick Linehan and Mike Foreman. Both will work on uh, one arm at a time, and uh, that will be the major activity of today's spacewalk. The spacewalk is expected to last just a little bit over seven hours. Houston EV-1 from the airlock, comp check. That's loud and clear, Rick, how about me? Loud and clear, Vegas. Good to hear your voice. 
Yours too. Have fun today. And next, C squared. We're going to try.